ពេលនេះពីវិមានមតភាពដែលជាមជ្ឈមណ្ឌលផ្ដល់ព័ត៌មាននៃកិច្ចប្រជុំកម្ពុជាអាស៊ានលើកទី 21 ខែវិជ្ជាការឆ្នាំពីព័ន្ធដល់ពីនេះដូចឆ្នេះសូមបញ្ជើញទូរទស្សនិកជនទស្សនានៅសន្និសិទ្ធសាធារណរដ្
đời không đời không chấp nhận đấy cứ à bấm 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 là tháp bà diên bàn ai cái việc này từ lư cầm xa nấy sạch đây khay gà rùm nấy cách bật chum cầm phu là diên chân lư đi tập ram ở pi khua bản đồ sao vi nấy dioc tập trăm khu vực thì đắp đi dioc đi thì cầm xa bàn ai cái việc này bà đồ lấy tiền một bộ tháp bà diên bàn phát động một trận niệm pi sấp phía cả nơi bờ châm bờ tây chỉ bờ sét sấp phía cả nơi Gaza hỏi ban âm pi um niu hỏi bờ chốc âm pơ âm pơ hăng xá đại cục công tài tập na cao nơi bờ châm bờ tây núng hỏi pi nợ phía phía kia phía pon tập lập từ ca trò cha bình mà ต่อไปที่ผมกุฏาบาลซินกับบ้านลึกปีสเปียบกาเนรอดรักเห็นในประเทศเมียนมาหอยกับบ้านความโตประเทศในกาซิมเซนในรัฐบาลเมียนมาหอยกับปงไตเมียนกาอันวัดปัจจุบันนี้หอยก็จมรู้จากเมียนกาสบอสมรู้ตะลือสเปียบกาเนรักเห็นในรัฐรักเห็นในได้บ้านต่อไปที่เดี๋ยวตรงอุปัตติเกรีปมุทาบาซินกับบานพลาดูอยู่บอกนี้กับบานพิมพ์เดียเอาเพียกีเปียกปอนต์ตั้งแต่มวยนึงทูอย่างน้าตั้งแต่บรรจงกาจอจาลังวิ่งไอ้บานชับไอ้ตัวลายทิศคือเอาเพียกีเปียกปอนต์กรุบในใส่ดีปะแกรบบอกรมศาสันสมในองค์การสพิจิตรอ๋อบาทนี่เชียสมศารุ่มในจิตสมัติพอลเกิดประชุมเป็นวุฒิไทยนี่ระบบผมมุ่งมุ่งทบาเซียนในเกิดประชุมกัมพูเซียนเลือกที่แบบไทยมวยบาทและบ้านบรรจับเตอร์มูลนิธิตรงนี้บาทแล้วมี preview on the outcomes of the 21st ASEAN summit which course the ASEAN leaders met since morning in three separate sessions first they began with the plenary session this morning followed by the meeting between the ASEAN leaders and of course the Uh, heads of the business of ASEAN, what we'll called the ASEAN Business Advisory Council, and followed by the retreat session, which is just concluded a little bit earlier. The plenary session, uh, the ASEAN leaders uh, adopted the ASEAN Human Rights Declaration, and they also signed the Phnom Penh Statement on the adoption of the ASEAN Human Rights Declaration. At the same time, ASEAN leaders already uh, decided to uh, take the deadline of December 31st, 2015 as deadline for the realization of the ASEAN Community Building. So this is when the ASEAN Community Building will start. Uh, and also they uh, endorse the new Secretary General of ASEAN for the five-year uh, five period that will start January 1st 2013 until December 31st, 2017. The new Secretary General will uh, assume the position after the current Secretary General, Exercise Principal One, will end his term the end by the end of this year. At the same time, the leaders uh, adopted the uh, statement, the joint statement on the establishment of the ASEAN Regional Mine Action Center. This is something that have been working for some time now, and they agree that uh, ASEAN will establish this regional mine action center. At the same time, they review the order proceedings uh, on the ASEAN Global Dialogue, which is the first initiative, uh, which is the inaugural meeting that will take place on November 20th. And this is a new initiative of ASEAN. It's a, a new a high level forum which ASEAN leaders and the other leaders of the East Asia Summit will engage with the heads of the international financial institutions and organizations. During the meeting between ABEC and the ASEAN leaders, they, uh, the leaders listened to the recommendations, which based on the same survey conducted by the Lee Kuan Yew School of the National University of Singapore, which was uh, initiated by the ASEAN Business Advisory Council. And on the recommendation, of course, the main priority is to how to enhance the ASEAN competitiveness at the current stage of global financial economy. 
And of course, the ASEAN leaders tasked the, re the relevant ministers to study the recommendations that has been submitted to them by the ABEC. During a retreat session this afternoon, the ASEAN leaders uh, spent a considerable amount of time discuss uh, four main issues. Uh, one is on the South China Sea, the DOC, and of course the COC. The ASEAN leaders decided that they will not internationalize the South China Sea from now on, that they will focus this entirely within the current existing ASEAN China mechanisms, which is at the level of the senior official, the ministerial, and the leaders, and where they will continue to engage the discussion on the South China Sea. Also, they agreed to adopt the joint uh, statement of the 15 as in China uh, summit on the 10th anniversary of the uh, DOC on the ASEAN side, and of course also with China, they have all reached an agreement on this particular declaration, which underlined the importance of ASEAN China to work together on the DOC. Uh, at the same time, they agreed to continue to fully implement and, effect, uh, and of course uh, with effectiveness of the DOC. Another issue that they discussed also is on the situation in the Middle East. They have appealed to all parties concerned to end violence in the Gaza Strip, uh, particularly uh, to stop the, uh, the killing of the innocent violence uh, in that particular part of the world. Also, the ASEAN leaders listened to the briefing by the president of uh, uh, by the leader of Myanmar on the situation in Rakhine State, and the leaders uh, support the measures that have been uh, taken by the Myanmar government. Uh, at the same time, the leaders uh, finally discuss on the issue on the Korean Peninsula, and they uh, call on the resumption of, uh, of the six parties. At the same time, uh, for all parties concerned to uh, respect the UN Security Council resolutions. So these are the uh, gist or the summary of the outcomes of to today's meetings, the 21st ASEAN Summit. I will be now ready to take your questions. Hello, Atara from Bangkok Post. I have two questions, sir. First, uh, the signing of the declarations already finished, but we have yet to get the document in print or uh, digitally. Mm. Secondly, uh, you mentioned about the declaration, uh, the joint statement of the DOC to celebrate the, the 10th anniversary yes. of, of DOC. So I, I just wonder, like the, the draft of joint statement is already finished. So if finished, uh, can you share some points of that joint statement uh, between ASEAN and China? Thank you. Okay. On the ASEAN Human Rights Declaration, they should be ready uh, to be distributed at this point. Uh, since the leaders, ASEAN leaders have already signed the preliminary statement on the adoption of ASEAN Human Rights Declaration and a uh, separate document on the ASEAN Human Rights Declaration. So these uh, documents should be ready, uh, should be uh, distributed now. I think. Uh, second, on the uh, joint statement on the uh, 15 uh, ASEAN China uh, Summit on the 10th anniversary of the DOC, this is a document which has been negotiated for some time already, but uh, uh, ASEAN and China were able to uh, finalize and reach consensus on this document just this very afternoon. So this document will be released uh, when they meet at the level of ASEAN China uh, summit that will take place, uh, I believe, on the 19th. So that's when the time when it will be released. But I just want to inform you that on the ASEAN side, we have, in fact, agreed upon already by the uh, heads of states and government of ASEAN. Yes. But, yes. Hi, I'm Ben Bland from the Financial Times. Um, could you just explain a bit more what you mean when you said that leaders agreed not to internationalize the South China Sea issue? What does that mean? Does that mean it won't be raised at the East Asia Summit? Can you give a bit more explanation about that particular point? Please. OK, I will not try to. Uh put my words into uh, our leaders, ASEAN leaders, but what I'm trying, we're trying to summarize the, uh, the meaning, what they, uh, what they intended uh, as I come to, uh, during the summit, the discussion during the summit. 
It means that they will take up this matter during the, their regular mechanism that they have now, meaning that they will have full discussion within the appropriate mechanism that they have established between ASEAN and China. So this is the, uh, the, the agreement that the uh, ASEAN uh, leaders had just uh, reached when they, uh, during their the, 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 uh, retreat, that they believe that uh, they do not want to complicate the matters. It's important that ASEAN will have to engage uh, the uh, party concerned directly and to resolve this issue through the established mechanism that they have, and of course at the levels of senior officials, but also the ministers and the leaders. Yes. Uh, can I take someone else beside, if you don't mind, maybe someone else? Okay, uh, yes, okay. Just nobody else asks. Uh, the, the implementation of the AEC, uh, which was supposed to be starting in the 1st January 2015, has been sort of a go to 31st December 2015. So what is the explanation of this? Thank you. Well, there were uh, discussions before whether the ASEAN community will, be, will begin on January 1st, 2015, or will be uh, in the middle of 2015, or maybe on the founding day of August 8th of 2015. I think this, uh, today uh, the ASEAN leaders took the opportunity to discuss and clarify this issue, that the actual date that they meant is December 31st, 2015. Okay. Yes. by the leader of Myanmar on the details, but uh, what he said during the retreat that uh, the situation is improving and that uh, Myanmar government will work closely with the international community uh, on this particular issue. And uh, in fact, that they uh, have already arranged uh, the uh, UN uh, and ASEAN and other parties already to visit uh, the place the reckon state, so that uh, they will, uh, they, they have undertaken uh, certain measures to address the situation there. And of course, uh, the ASEAN leaders expressed their full support uh, of the Myanmar government's uh, un uh, undertaking. So this is uh, quite uh, transparent according to what has been briefed to the ASEAN leaders by uh, Myanmar leaders. All right, well, thank you very much. This concludes my press conference.